It is Monday, August the 1st, and I am currently downtown Petersburg trying to find me a daggone parking spot so I can go up in this damn hair store. Just going in here to give me some lip gloss for these lips. Got the lip gloss and now back out the door. Uh, so I'm currently in the bird right now and I got an artist right here and I'm gonna allow for him to tell him about you because I can't do it. I have to check him out to myself. But go ahead. Yo, yo, what it do, man? It's your boy Young Mike Mass. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm out here getting it. You already know. Got the CDs on deck. Anybody want to try some? Come holler at me. I'll be at the Dollar Tree on South Carolina Road. You know? Social media links. Social media. You can catch me at Young Mike Miles on any platform. Anything like iTunes, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, some of everything. Young Mike Miles, no spaces. And this the thing. So y'all always talking about people do positivity. Do something good. This it. Check the man out. Show some support. I'm going to do it. I just can't support him the way he need me to. What you do? You do you. You bet y'all together, you you the you the man. You see, y'all networking, what you you what you trying to shout out to? What you trying to do? What's up? Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh it's your boy Show Gaddafi right here. Hey, look, you can check me out at Buzz Ski TV. That's my cameraman. That's the channel on YouTube. Let's say it again for me. Say a little Buzz Ski TV. That's a B-U-D. S C E E T V. That's my cameraman's channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Y'all can also check me out at Booth the Streets. My video got the most views out of everything on Booth the Streets. Y'all like heard him? Booth the Streets. Type in Booth the Streets show. If you type that in, it's me and my other brother, our big brother, Lego man. He's not here with us right now, but he won third and one a new flame. It's three of us. I mean, so yeah, check out Boot the Street Show. It's at 71 right now, 71K. Y'all help push that right yes. here. Trying to do something yes. positive hey. for my city hey. right here. Y'all, positivity. I want y'all to love us back. I mean, oh, it's all one love, man. It's all one love. Excuse the cigar right now. Y'all yeah. yeah. Look, we all, we in a work in progress. All, love, all right, y'all, y'all heard it, so do not ignore this shit. Y'all practice what you preach now, and this is it. This is the opportunity for y'all to follow follow through what y'all say. And I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm about to talk to you, and I'm asking that you just bear with me, please. Please bear with me because I don't know how it's going to come out. But I'm surely going to try to say what I mean and mean what I say. But anywho, my day was going very good today. You know, even though I had stuff on my mind, a lot of stuff that, that the average, the normal person would worry about, I was trying not to worry about it because I am trying to give it to God. I said I'm trying to give it to God. I'm allowing for him to take control while I'm doing my part in the midst, although I'm not doing my part 100%. Because I'm still doing something that I just feel like he wants me to stop doing it. I have just been hard headed. I'm talking about weed, but anyways. So I was texting my friend, um, the guy that I'm currently staying with right now. He's out of town, and he was just we were just talking. He's talking about his day, you know, within text messages. But then in the midst of him talking about his day, he followed up with a message that I understood what he was saying. He didn't say directly how he felt, but he said it indirectly. And for those who know me, I catch it. I'm I'm good at reading people and I'm good at reading what people say even if that's not even if they're trying to hold back I know what they're trying to say. So he asked me how's the application going and everything else and I was like I was like oh that's a great time to ask this in the midst of the conversation then I'm like why you ain't asked this before but people do things on their own time. So um I told him it's going Ain't nobody called me back yet, but I'm doing what I can do. I'm filling out these damn applications, even though I don't want to. I'm filling the stupid applications out because I need to do so, right? So then he was like, I missed my bed. And I'm like, okay, all right. 
and I understand, but hey, you before you even knew that I was staying with you from what the thought the, the, what I knew, you was already going out of town and who's just following me. So I get it. I'm in his space, although he's not here, he's out of town. This is a planned vacation. Where, where he at right now, this is already planned before I came into the picture. It just just so happened to work out in my favor and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm I'm sure I'm so thankful for him because he didn't have to allow for me to stay with him. He didn't. But he did and I'm thankful for it and I'll never forget it. So, um, he was like, yeah, I missed my bed. And then, um, I already quickly nipped it in the bugs. Like I said, he wasn't saying what he wanted to say directly. I got, obviously he want me out the house. He want me out and I'm not even there. And let me just say when I'm there and when he was there, I don't bother the man. I was in the bathroom the whole time. That's his room. I wanted him to have his space. So I act as if I wasn't there. Cooked for him, clean for him, all that stuff. But yeah. Maybe I'm a problem, don't know I'm a problem, but I'm at, maybe it's a problem that I'm staying out the way. Anywho, I mind my business while I'm at this man's house. I don't dirt none up. If I dirt some up, I clean it up. Um, anywho, like I said, he said indirectly, pretty much he missed his bed. Da, da, da. So I'm like, look, when you get back, hopefully I'll be out. I don't know where I'm going to go. If I got to go to a shelter, that's where I'm going to go. And that's probably where I'm going to have to end up going to is a shelter. And that's by choice. So um, I'm trying to figure out when he's going to get back. It's going to be this month, but I got to get out of his house But by the time he comes back. And it's understandable. I'm not mad. I get it. But I do feel some type of way. He's making it seem like I was just a problem when I wasn't. When I gave you your space, I didn't bother you. That's part of the problem. He wanted me to bother him, and I didn't want to bother him. Trust me. Watch my video where I told y'all men and women really can't be friends, especially in one in one man, somebody want to fuck and the other one don't. It ain't going to work. There's always going to be some type of feeling with that. You ain't got to feel me, but I know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, I, I had to pull over and I broke down when he when I seen that message. I was like, damn, life hitting. It's, it's hitting and I got to deal with it, but I just want to talk about it. So I'm here to ask you humbly as I can, please binge watch my videos. This is one way I'm not sitting on my ass, not doing nothing. Although I'm sitting on my ass now, but I know when people look into my channel, like, oh, she don't do shit. I do though. This mouth is a gift, whether you know it or not, but I'm really trying behind the scenes to get my shit together. It may not seem like it on the scenes, but I am trying not to show certain shit because there are some people who are out for me. And I ain't even got shit. All I'ma say, meet Ma B, this bitch. She didn't try some shit. She didn't try some. And I'm like, damn, girl, I bothered you that bad. That's why you gotta be careful who you fuck with. Although I'm not scared nothing like that, but it's just that I wasn't mindful of what people mind state is at when it comes to someone speaking on their name, even when you're speaking the truth. But y'all, this month I gotta figure out where the hell I'ma go. All I'ma say is, I know for a fact that I'm welcome at my parents' house, but I don't want to go back. I told myself I'm not going to go back to my parents' house. I cannot backtrack. So I'm not going to do that. I can go back to my grandmother's house, but I don't want to deal with that right now, especially if I don't have to. And she's still good. She's able to take care of herself right now. And she got people helping her that she wanted to help her. So I'm stuck. So my only option is, is a shelter. I got to find one. Girl, I'm, I, look. Didn't I tell y'all, I don't know if y'all was around this time, but just know the things that I talk about people on, just know that that shit can be flipped back on me. But you also got to know my story beforehand, too. All I'm going to say is I'm about to step into, not in her shoes, but I'm about to live somewhat like Shanita. You know, Shanita, I ain't got no kids, though, but Shanita, she did some things. We don't know the full story, but we know that she had to remove herself and go somewhere to get some help. I'm going to have to remove myself and go somewhere to get a living some roof i gotta have a house over my head so another thing too that i've been doing and i, I actually started doing this last year august 2021 before i moved out of my parents house to my grandmother's house i had applied for section eight all i'm gonna say is i'm still on the waiting list um don't know what's gonna go up with that um i do believe now today when i get back to the house i'm going to try to apply for other section eight um, housing stuff in different areas. I checked out Richmond last night. Richmond, their list is closed. I checked out um, Chester. I didn't really find much on Chester. I believe I'm going to have to call them and actually get some information because online they're not directing me to where I need to go. But I'm definitely going to use Section 8 to my advantage if, I'm, if I can. And for those who tuned into like my Peach Magatide videos, I hope that you're not 
mixing up the conversation. All I'm going to say is because I know it's going to come. And if you say it, it's because you didn't pay attention. I never knocked nobody on Section 8 because of the fact I grew up on Section 8. And Section 8 actually helped my mom out. She's now not on Section 8, hasn't been on it for years. And she's doing well for herself. But I'm going to have to take advantage and do what I got to do because I am stuck. And this is all my doing. It's all because of me and the choices that I made. Cry about it. Ain't no need to cry, but it's, the tears is flowing because it's really hitting home. That bitch, I'm not going to have anywhere to go. Well, I have somewhere to go, but I'm choosing not to go back there because I guess you can say prideful, but then again, no, I don't want to go back to mommy. I got to figure this shit out on my own. And if I get help in the midst of it, like my friend, he was a helping soul, and I'm, I just know I'm thankful for it, but I'm trying to do what I can. Once again, please watch all of my videos in full. If you can't stand the washroom, I'm just asking you to help me out, please. Help me. Allow for those videos to play and allow for the ads to play. Turn the volume down. Do what you got to do to help me out. And I guarantee you, when I get to where I'm going to, I am going to give back the way that it needs to be given back. I know it sounds about like a bunch of bullshit because I've seen so many people in my place right now do the same thing and they did not follow up on their word. But if you watch my short, I told you I am a woman of my word. And if I go back on my word, just know that I let it be known. And I'm going to let it be known that my feelings change, mind change. But when it comes to actually helping people, I'm here for it if I'm able to really, really help. Even if the help seems like it's coming from a negative place. I'm dad can't even make it make sense. Because folks don't understand when you tell folks the truth that things are not hate. So I can't do this yes, bitch. I'm, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Now, there's no crime not going to solve it. But I need to get the tears out so it won't. I won't be. I won't. So it won't be building up at me. And it was just so embarrassing. And I know I'm going to laugh myself out there editing this bitch. But I just want to come on here and share with you how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And also check those dudes out. The dudes that I had met immediately once I walked at the hair store, um, the dude he had asked, he need, all he needed was three dollars to get pay for his CD. I ain't had, I had to scrape up my change and get my lip gloss and my lips was I had ran out. I don't know if y'all yeah, want me to dog treat, but I went to dog treat and I had got this for a dollar, but it's, I can't even scoop that part out. So I went and got me some lip gloss so that my lips can look good. You know, while I'm over here looking bad going through life. Yeah, I guess I can't say for those who don't want no ill will against me. Say a prayer for me. Pray that I be I. Pray that I get it together. Pray that just God continue to cover me and protect me. Because I don't know what's going to happen from this point on. But I, I got to stay prayed up now because I'm about to go out here in the world for real for real by my damn self alone. And I'm not afraid. I just got to be watchful of my surroundings it, it'll be it would it would be great if i had a vehicle if i had a vehicle i'll be fine i really wouldn't be worried but i ain't even got that so um yeah man this is this shit hitting home and it's hitting home real real hard and yeah please watch this from a video watch the ads and i guess i'm gonna see you in the next clip your girl is buck Back with nothing, but I just wanted to come back and show my face and end the vlog properly. I was going to insert some clips that I have recorded over the last three days, but um, me not going to upload it or put it into the vlog because I feel as though you're not going to watch it. So me not going to put it in because I had to learn from the other vlog. I hope most of you peeped that I deleted episode as a 22. Yeah. Me being who I was, it, 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 it did not work, honey. So I said, no, no, that's going to mess up my analytics. So I deleted it. So, um, yeah, um, girl, I'm, I'm a little dry right now. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm slightly in my feelings, but I'm, I'm going to try to get up out of them. I was out of them a little earlier, but I'm human. I didn't get back up in it. I laugh with my mind to wander. But, um... This is the end of the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all of those things for your girl. Please and thank you. Oh my God. Okay. But, um, yeah. And mom, I got on my, my nightstand. I don't want to show it the folks because my, my, my girls, they really own, they own 30. Hold on a minute.
Yeah, my mom got me this little, this little, little two piece little shit, little, little, little shitty shit, you know, and a little Roby robe. But yeah, hopefully the next vlog that I upload, it will be um, beneficial to your needs, whatever needs those are. Hopefully I can meet a wide variety of your needs so that it can be matched and so that you can keep coming back to this channel. But yeah, I'm going to end it now because I'm, I'm just dragging on and on and on. But I did hope you enjoy. You ain't shouldn't enjoy for real. I just talked to y'all and I just uploaded the video. Anywho's, I'm going to catch you on another one.